Welcome back. Well, guess what? Today is Earth Day, and to mark it, we are taking a look throughout the show at everything from renewable energy to what you can do in your community. We're going to kick off our coverage this morning by taking a deep dive into ocean exploration. The ocean makes up about 71% of the Earth's surface. Despite its size and its importance to life on Earth, the majority of what goes on beneath the surface is still largely unknown. Organizations like the Schmidt Ocean Institute are working to improve our understanding by using new technology to go where no human has gone before. Let's bring in the Schmidt Ocean Institute co-founder, Wendy Schmidt, for more on this. Wendy, good morning. Thank you for joining us here. Good morning. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day to you as well. Great to spend it with you. So we want to talk a part about what your organization does, which is really cool. So you actually have this research ship. It's called the Falcor 2. It is free, is my understanding. Scientists can say, I want to come on board. I want to do research here. Tell us about this, about this kind of program that you've created, and what type of discoveries have been made on this ship. When we started uh, doing this about mm, in 2013, we launched our first ship. The problem is that there isn't a lot of ship time for scientists who want to do this kind of research. Mm. That's the gating item. So my husband and I thought, let's make the ship time available as much as possible for scientists all over the world. We've had more than 1,100 of them so far. Wow. And in exchange for this free time in our laboratories, our robotic vehicles, our high-speed computing, all those tools, they share their information in real time with other scientists because the oceans are under attack, as you know. It's a critical time to accelerate our understanding of the ocean for all the reasons that we're here today to celebrate Earth Day. So, mm. so with that in mind, what kind of voyages do you see in the future for Falcor 2? Well, we're going to be in all of the ocean basins. Uh, we were in five countries this past year, since 2023. We did nine expeditions. Uh, some of the upcoming ones are fascinating. We're going to Antarctica. We're going to look at the interface between the, the ice and the movement caused by climate change and the systems underneath that water. It's never been mapped before. We have been in an age of discovery for this last year, I have to say. I used to think the age of discovery was the 15th, 16th, 17th centuries when people were finding mountain ranges and oceans and rivers and all those features. They even found China, I think. They found out where it was. But now we're in a new age altogether. It's like seeing the Earth from space back in 1969. Mm. Now we're looking at the ocean in real time with our, all of our senses using our robots, and we're discovering life on Earth again. And tell us the connection that I know you say is so important between what's going on in our oceans, what's going on in our seas, and land. What is that connection? What does it mean for climate change? What we're really looking at here is a question of resilience. Resilience in the ocean, in a system that's been evolving for four billion years, and resilience on land, resilience in our soil. Everything we do on land affects the ocean. And we depend on the ocean for every other breath we take, for all of our primary protein. And there's so much to discover there that could be of use to humans for medicine in the next pandemic. Heaven knows our exploration will help us protect the ocean and create the resilience that it's meant to have. Our impact is affecting that now. And that's what has to change. Mm. So if you compost at home and you look at the packaging you buy and you really question how much of that plastic should be in your life. It's going to end up in the ocean. 40% of the, of the debris in the ocean is plastic packaging. Make some little changes, right? Mm. We can reduce our emissions by going solar if we can, right? Use your local produce, your local farmer's markets, right? Support local resilience because soil health is ocean health. That's mm. how to think about it. Mm. In just a few seconds, what's your message to people who feel like climate change is such a big problem right now? They're overwhelmed by it. We're all overwhelmed by it, but I think individual actions will add up together. And those things I just mentioned, leading to resilience, if that's the thing you're really thinking about, you will help the ocean. Because all of us really want to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. And really good tips that anybody can kind of grab onto. Farmer's market, reducing plastic, things like that. Wendy Schmidt, thank you so much. Happy Earth Day. We appreciate your time this morning. It's really incredible, the work you're doing. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.